Hey, what is up, you guys? It's Airsoft and Rules here, bringing you some TF2s. And tonight, we're going to be playing as the Annoying Pyro of Annoyingness. The Troll Pyro? Something like that. And right now, well, actually, what the gameplay is mostly about is the. the. uh. this weapon that I can't remember the name of. But you should never use it. The reality is, never use this weapon. Because it does terrible damage. As you well as you can see, like I only did three damage to that pyro. Lollipop. Anyways, I only did three damage to that guy. Which is absolutely brutal. And my HUD is not showing up actually. I just realized that. So you guys don't know what my health is. Well, anyways, as you can see, I just keep on knocking this soldier back, right back into his spawn. This is the ultimate troll weapon, basically. Look at this. Again. Look at this. I hit that sniper, too. The other sniper. And then, I knock that guy back down again, and he gets backstabbed. This is the ultimate troll weapon, basically. You use it to troll the other team. And there's no doubt about it. I kept their... I kept their whole team inside their spawn. It's basically like having a long distance air blast. So it is definitely a very interesting weapon. I would necessarily say it's a good weapon. It's good for trolling though. And it does a brutally low amount of damage against pyros. It's terrible against pyros. It's yeah, I wouldn't recommend using it whatsoever. Yeah, unless you're trolling people like, like this. Like, that guy has a shotgun, and it gave him a giant advantage over me, even though you can't really see my health. Um, yeah. I'm also using a strange lollipop in this game, but it's not really about that. It's about the... Sh uh, the, the, the scorch shot, I remember now. It's about the scorch shot, which is the main concern of this gameplay, which, in my opinion, you shouldn't use at all. Never. It's... And t I, Valve really needs. In order for this weapon to be good, Valve has to give it a buff or something. Like, increase the not back or. No, like, decrease the damage that it does. Because it's, it's not doing enough damage. I do 15. Like, a 15 base damage. That's, that's terrible. Brutal. Brutally terrible. Like,. I can't even describe how terrible it is. Just don't use it. Unless you really want to. Yeah. It's like... They... they I, I don't know why Valve would implement again something like this. The flare gun is 100% better than this. Even the detonator is better than this. Because you can flare jump with the detonator. Which is... So... Yeah. Anyways, we're coming near the end of this uh, gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And honestly, I tried as hard as I could to use this weapon as much as possible in the game. It's It was impossible, to say the least. Um, yeah. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the gameplay. Um, I'm going... Oh, wait. It's not actually ending right now. I thought it was going to end. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Um... I uh, actually I totally forgot to cover the shortstop and also the other new power weapon, so I will have to do that. And meanwhile, you can watch him mess all those shots on him, on the 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 sniper. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video, and I I think we win. Yeah, we win. I think we should win. Yeah, as I was saying, it does barely any damage, and I actually don't get a single, oh actually no, I get two kills with it in the entire game. So yeah, I'll uh, see you guys later. Low flame rate drop. Yeah, catch you guys later.